The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. That's a green leaf, you fool. What are you going to do, put out my fire before I get it started? Tain't neither green, it's dry as a bone. You sash your paw once more. I'll take a strap to you. You get over to the wagon and get them wet sacks. I don't want no fire around that wagon. Look at it go now. Wind's just right. Be up in them trees in no time. Oh, how far will it burn? Oh, on up through the canyon. Up that ridge, I expect. 500,000 acres. Make a nice piece of land. It's a lot of trees to burn. Can't eat trees. Well, the stock can eat grass, and the grass will burn, too. Grass will grow back in. Thicker and richer than ever. Fire purifies the land. Always like to burn over my land before I start. Somebody's coming. Here as good as you can. Who are you and what in time are you doing with that fire? I'm Jeb Hoden. It's my daughter, Willa. I'm clearing myself a piece of land. I might settle down here, if I like the look of it bare. Are you crazy fool? You're gonna burn the whole range. Give me that sack. Get some more of these sacks and help me. Let that fire alone! You get yourself killed! Shoot him, Pa! Shoot him good! Now look, you. You try reloading that cannon, I'll put a hole right through you. I gotta get this fire put out. You'd like to cut my heart out, wouldn't you? I just don't know what I'm gonna do with you. Look, if you just listen to reason, just give me a chance, let me try to explain. Your father didn't know what he was doing. There's a lot of people living up in these hills, people with homes, people with families. These woods are as dry as tinder. Once the wind got behind that fire, he wouldn't have burned a thousand acres, he'd have burned 20,000, maybe more. Right. Right. I, I know it's not a reason to kill a man for. But I didn't want it to happen. I didn't want it to come to that. Look, you have to listen to me. I, I warned him not to shoot, didn't I? Didn't I warn him not to try it again? It's not too good a time to explain, I guess. I can't leave you out here alone. 
back to the house, see if I can't help you. Come on, let's go. Willow. I killed her father. You what? Clearing the timber off a of Box Creek Canyon. They're gonna burn it off. Burn it off? That's right. Oh, fire in the canyon would turn it into a chimney. Half the Ponderosa could I told him to put it out. He wouldn't do it. I tried to put the fire out myself. He warned me if I went near it, he'd kill me. I didn't think he meant it, but he did. I had to kill him to stay alive. You can't keep me here. My kin folks are coming to kill you all. Grab a hold and feed you to the hogs. What about her? After I killed her father, she came at me. I, I had to tie her up. There's nothing else I could do. Us. Have the body decently laid out. Adam, you better go in and report this to the sheriff. See if he can get out of here if possible. Ask Mrs. Shaughnessy to drop up here. We'll need some help. Well, Adam, you better have her bring some things for the girl, like shoes and dress, maybe a skirt or two. See some first class stock? Look down there. Whoa. What do you make of it, Doty? Only see one gun. Mind what I told you. You hear? I hear, Jeff. Get up. Howdy, stranger. Afternoon, ma'am. We be the Hodes traveling west out of Kentucky. We want no trouble with man or beast. I'm Bart Hastings. This is the Lazy K. These are my men. Like you, I don't want any trouble. You're welcome to travel across my land. Now, that's real nice of you. Know of a place called Virginia City? Know it well. How far be it? Oh, about a week's travel with your rig. Ever seen the likes of us before? Why do you ask? Son of mine, Jeb Hoden, and his young and likely passed through here some time ago. You'd know him for our kin if you'd seen him. Passed through here about a week, ten days ago. You didn't take to him? I did not. Don't take to folks like us. 
He camped here without asking. Killed one of my steers for beef. Didn't ask about that either. Winds ain't like much. Hang tight together. Got to or get killed. Nobody does a hurt to a hold without any pays for it. I didn't hurt him. What's more, I gave him the beef. He and the youngster looked half starved. Then I ordered him off my land. Is that why you ain't asking me and mine to light here and rest ourselves? Kind of that steer? That's right. We travel a fur piece today, near 20 miles. Winds are war thin. Stock needs feed, needs water. You can't stay here and that's an order. You gotta move on. I, I wasn't... I wasn't gonna shoot. I was just... I was... Up. dead. He's dead. We killed another one. Come on, bring him out of there before that horse tramples him. He's dead. Ever no duty to miss? Come on, bring him out of there. Give him a hand. You won't get away with this. Nothing to get away from. It was murder. That man drawed his gun. Don't do to draw on a hold. Too many of us have been killed. You know it was murder. I saw you beat the man for it. It wasn't murder I whopped him about. I whopped Doty because he shot thought I told him to. I warned him when we got here. Call it murder or not. He'll hang for it. I'll see to that. Best think on that real hard. You ain't never seen killing till you kill one of us. <laughs> Dirty? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to soak her a good long while to get her clean, Pa. Well, how are you gonna manage that? Well, the horse has got this contraption rigged up. He thinks it's gonna work. Sure hope it does. Yeah, hope it does. Yeah. But mirrors are hard to come by. Right. Hey, Sh Shaughnessy, maybe we better just put it off for a while. You know, maybe I could talk to her, calm her down a little bit. We've waited long enough. Now, there's no use in putting it off any longer. All right, but now, now look, you promised me you're not going to hurt her. If she starts to fight a little bit too much, we'll, we'll just let her go. I promised, and I'll keep my promise. And, and don't forget, she might be afraid of water, you know? Oh, nonsense. It's just another excuse to fight. She'd fight if you fed her cherry pie. Now, if I had my say, I'd take that snap and bite out of her with a razor strap. Yeah, well, well, Shaughnessy, take it from me. It, it doesn't do any good to fight with her. If we, we use a little patience and a little kindness, we, we can... Don't worry, little Joe. I'll do it your way. Now, here, take this. Okay. She's a good one, too. Stout. I jumped up and down. <laughs> what is it? Well, yeah. It'll work fine if I need it. Now, you two get out of here. Go on. Yes, sir. Oh, you! I'm 
Shaughnessy. I don't think it's going to work. Don't you fret yourself. Shaughnessy's run more critters through that cheap dip than half the ranchers in Nevada. I'm not going to. You can't make me get in that water. I won't. I won't. Get your hands off of me. Give me back my britches. I'll show you. No. You trying to drown me? Joe, what do you think you're doing? You can't go in there. She did drown. Did you hear nothing? Shh. Shaughnessy? Sh Shaughnessy, you all right? Answer me. Shaughnessy, are you all right? Answer me. Ah! We're all right. That's it for five. We're having a real nice soak. <laughs> can't do this. I'm all thumbs. You're the one that says it takes gentleness and patience. Well, stay there and be gentle and patient. Be careful she doesn't bite a finger off you. Yeah. Here it is, Charles. I, I moved that buckle over about an inch. It ought to fit real fine now. Try it and see. Me? We might need someone strong. Yes, sir. Easy, gal. Real easy now. Don't you kick me. Easy now. That's the way. Ain't gonna hurt. Hey. You know something, Joe? Hmm? She is a pretty little gal. As pretty as a spotted pony. the matter now? She bit me. That's what's the matter. It can't hurt that bad. She took the hide off me. She took the hide right off me. Well, you pulled her hair or something. Never was any good hair, no how. Who does all the platinum of the tails and manes around here? Me. Well, you better be careful. Don't you bite me. I'll, I'll swat you one. Hey, horse, will you hurry up with that thing? Come on, hurry. She's hard to hold. I'm coming. Here, what are you going to do with it? Put it where she can see herself. A minute, I'll let her go. Uh, over by the window, horse, where the light's the best. Yes, sir. Now, watch her. Now, you, you, you watch her now. I'm going to let her go. Easy, gal. Easy, that's it. Joe, you know something? You know something? I, I think you're right. Yeah. Well, she's a gal, ain't you? Any gal rather look pretty than that. I knew she'd quiet down the minute she saw herself. All females are vain. <laughs> can I show the mister? Hey, you sure can. He's gonna be real surprised, too. He didn't know he had such a good-looking gal in the house. Check the barn, Joe. Yeah. Come on. Oh, right here. Come here. Come here. No, I don't like it. Come here. Put your hand up here. Just right here. There. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And you, know, you stay like that. I want Pot to see it just like that. Okay? You stay. What? 
So help me, Pa, I'm gonna bring her back and tame her if it's the last thing I do. Hey, Joe, did you tell her she could take Paul's horse? My horse? <laughs> Dead burn. A book of poetry. Hard to believe, ain't it? I never figured a book of poetry is good for anything. Yeah, that book of poetry turned the bullet and saved my life. Yeah. Hey, there's some pages here that ain't tore. Mind if I read it? No, go ahead. Who is it? It's a sheriff. Paul's down there talking to her. I wonder how he found out I was bushwhacked so fast. I don't know. I'll go find out. Well, Ben, this is the first I heard that Adam had been shot, but in view of what I was going to talk to you about, I think I know who shot him. Who? Adam's never had any enemies around here. He has now. You all have. You got a whole darn nest of them. What do you mean? Well, that girl Adam said you had here, her kinfolk, the Hodes, they come to town just like she said they would. Now, you, you don't mean that uh, it was one of her family that shot Adam? Well, Ben, like you say, Adam didn't have any enemies that would do a thing like that, but the Hodes did find out there was a cart ride killed the girl's father. No question about that. The talk's all over town. So somebody must have pointed Adam out when he went through Virginia City. You still got that girl here? Yeah, yeah, she's, she's still here, Roy. She's out with little Joe somewhere, but she's still here. You mean she's roaming around loose? <laughs> From what Adam said, you just about had to keep her locked up in a cage. <laughs> well, she's tamed down now, Roy. She's uh, wearing a dress and washing and eating at the table with us, even learning how to embroider. <laughs> We still have to keep her locked up at night. Yeah, the gun's locked up, and anything with an edge on it, like a like a knife or an axe or something. Even so, she sounds a lot tamer than the rest of her family. That's what I wanted to tell you, Ben. The Hodes killed one of Bart Hastings' best men in the Lazy K when they come through there. Killed him or murdered him? Well, it all depends on who you're listening to. Bart claims it was out-and-out -out murder, and the Hodes, they say it was just plain self-defense. Anyway, there's got to be a trial. I'm on my way over now to pick up Dodie Hode, the one that done the shooting. Thought you and Hoss should come along. It's on your property. Well, the Hodes camp near here? Just over the ridge. Well, we'll come along. I'll sell up the horses, Paul. I'll, I'll be right out. They'll come. Don't you fret yourself about that. They killed my boy Jeb because he wanted to settle on a piece of land. They'll come to drive winds off, too. Have we got to kill him, Graham? Got to kill the one that killed my boy Jeb, leastwise. Got to show him we can kill man for man. It's the only way we can stay alive. I wish it wasn't so. Has to be, bud. Folks like them been hounding us every foot of the way from St. Joe. Fighting us. 
Denying us the simple means of living, killing us. It wasn't for us showing them we could kill quicker, quicker than they could. We'd be in our graves before this. That's true, Graham. They do hound us. I never could figure out just why. We ends ain't like them, that's why. They don't take to folks are different. They hate them, fear them, just feel they gotta be rid of them. Well, I don't see that. We're like they are. No, we ain't. Our folks settled in Kentucky and Tennessee more than a hundred years ago, but we ain't like them. We got two hands, two feet. We got red blood in our bodies. We got love in our hearts for our young'uns and our old'uns. And we pray to God Almighty, but we ain't like them. We'll be fighting them all the rest of our lives, I expect. Our lives may not be long. They can kill us off near any time they take a notion. Can't give in to them, that's the worst. Can't let them fence us out or... Deny us our rights to the land or kill us without punishment. We ends would be better dead many times over if we done that. Well, I'd rather be alive and married to Willow like we was promised. I'd rather have a piece of land than a place to raise young'uns. I'm afraid they ain't never gonna let you and Willow marry. They're a gathering of Guinness right now. You know that. I reckon. They'll come on hard. And I reckon they won't stop till we're all dead. I know we won't. If it comforts you, they'll bury twice as many of theirs as they will ours. I promise you that. You don't comfort. Not none at all. I hear riders. <laughs> I'm the law. Not here, you ain't. Here I'm the law. Don't be a fool, Mrs. Hood. I come out for the one you call Doty. What do you want with him? Stand trial for the killing of Slim Carter, the Lazy K Ranch. That undrawed his gun. Doty killed him before he could kill one of us. That ain't nothing to stand trial about. It's up to the jury to decide whether he's guilty or not. My job is just to take him in as the law requires. Where was the law when they killed Doty's wife? Doty's wife? I know nothing about a woman being killed. I'm telling you. Near a month ago out in the prairie, some wild bunch came and shot up our wagon for no reason. Doty's wife didn't draw a gun, but they killed her. Doty ain't been real right in the head ever since. Did you report that killing to the law? I told the lawman. He done nothing, just drove us on. There's a law for you'uns and a law for we'uns, but it ain't the same law. Now look, ma'am. It is the same. At least ways around here it is. Who might you be? Ben Cartwright. I own this land. Then you must know who I am, I reckon. You better know why I'm here. Yeah, I know. Your granddaughter Willow told us all about you. I want her. But more than that, I want the man that killed Jeb Holt. Heard about that too, Mama. Sorry about what happened. Little Joe said it was unavoidable. I mean to see he hangs for it. Little Joe's my son. And Jeb Holt was mine. The law determined that Little Joe acted in self-defense. There's a law for you'uns and a law for wins, and it's not the same law. Well, I say it is the same law for both of us. And don't you defy it. Now I come out here to take in Doty Hode, and I'm going to take him. You try it, and they'll likely bury all of us. Is that right? Maybe, <laughs> maybe we, uh, maybe we better think on this, huh? Yeah, maybe so. Come on, boys. <laughs> She meant what she said, every word of it. 
we try to pull our way in there, there'll be debt to bury. Most of theirs and most of us. But I gotta go in. She's defying the law. Well, she's not defying it. She's afraid of it. What's the difference whether she's afraid of it or not? The law is the law, and I've sworn to uphold it. Well, maybe you didn't swear it when you took office, but you're bound to uphold human lives before the law. Ben, you've got to be realistic. Them hoes are like a pit full of rattlesnakes and twice as dangerous. You heard her say she wanted to hang little Joe, didn't you? Well, she meant every word of that. She was upset. She had every right to be. I know how I'd feel if one of my sons had just been killed. Now, Roy, you gotta let me go back and reason with her. All right, Ben. Paul, what you gonna do? Gonna hold out my hand to her. I got a beat on him, Ma. Just say when. Fair enough. Stand there. What tricks are you playing? No tricks. I'm a man with sons, tired of killing. I've come to talk to a woman with sons who must hate killing. Will you hear me? I'll hear you. We can fight each other and kill each other over a man already dead. And that'd pile grief on grief and settle nothing. Oh, we can call the dead man buried. We can set aside grief and hate. We can live as neighbors. Will you look at what I've come to show you? I'll look. more than 20 miles from here. A rich valley with sweet water and good grass. Sheltered land. They'll give you 50 head of beef and 10 horses, two broken to the plow. Your neighbors, I'll be one of them, will help you build before the snow flies. It has the look of a lie, a trap. Yeah, that it does. But the truth, it look exactly the same. No man gives away so much. I'm not giving. I'm trading. In exchange, you won't make me kill some of yours to protect mine, and I won't make you kill some of mine to protect yours. What about my boy, Doty? Sheriff said he wanted him. Yeah. You'll have to stand trial. A fair trial, I promise you. Show me your face. I ain't seen nothing but lying, cheating men for a long, long time. I'm about decided all the good ones are dead. What did you see? I'll study on it. Dodie will come in at sundown tomorrow, or not. That'll be your answer. Sundown tomorrow. If this be a trap, a trick to blind me, or some way to kill Dodie, I'll come after you, Ben Cartwright, and I won't rest till you're in your grave or I'm in mine. And I mean to have my granddaughter back with me. You remember that. Keep me 
now my kin's here. I can go if I want. I got no rights. Oh, of me! I don't want to keep you here, Willow. I just came out to say goodbye to you, that's all. This pony and your clothes, all the clothes you got back in your room, are yours to keep. Make sure you come back and get them. Come back and visit us real soon, too, now, here. Thought you could tame her, huh? No, it wasn't that. She heard us talking. Heard her family was nearby and she wanted to be with him. So I let her go. Well, now that's probably the best thing, don't you think? Yeah, I suppose. But you'll miss her, huh? Yeah, I guess I will. It's kind of cute when we got her face washed, you know? So I kind of got used to having her around. Something else on your mind? Yeah. Yeah, I promised Willow I'd tell her Ken how I come to kill her father. I still have that to do. I think I'll let Pa and the sheriff take care of that. Oh, I'm the one that killed him. I'm the one that should tell him. Now, look, Joe, you can't take a chance like that. I wouldn't go near that place without some help. I wouldn't mean anything if I went in there with an army. Could mean you'd stay alive. Adam, I don't think the Hoods are a tribe of killers. Besides, we don't even know it was one of them that bushwhacked you. And I promised Willow I'd tell him face to face. I killed her father, Adam. I think it's the least I can do. No, no, Joe, you can't. No. Now listen to me. Jo Joe, come back. <laughs> Boy. Well, I see you got away from them, girl. Well, they didn't even try and stop me. They just let me go. Like as not, because they knew I'd come after them if they didn't. You all right? They didn't hurt you none, did they? Oh, they didn't hurt me none. They give me these clothes, though, and a lot of pretty things. Graham, it was nice there. The house was big, real splendid-like, and they got a looking glass, most tall as me. I'd like to see something like that. Not for us. None of that stuff. This shirt you got on. A hussy shirt. Get shit of it, hear? Well, I think it's real pretty, Willow. You look so different. I ain't different, bud. Not inside, I ain't. Graham, they was good to me. Well, they even asked me to come back and visit any time at all. Don't forget they's the ones that killed your pa. And don't you fret, girl. We're gonna kill the one that done it. Same for Dodie. <laughs> little fella, kind of pretty. Heard it was a pretty little fella that killed Jeb. Yeah, but you don't know this one's him. Yeah, I do. 
Got a feeling in my bones. Remember what Ma told you? Ma ain't here now. She's back talking to Willard. Appears like it's up to me to figure out what to do. What's that gonna be? You all just wait here and watch. You'll see. Gonna have me some fun killing a pretty little fella that killed my brother. Looking for somebody, stranger? Yeah, looking for a family named Hode. Reckon you found him. A woman here named Grandma Hode? She's busy. I'm Doty Hode. You can talk to me. I think I'd rather talk to her. King, you got something to say, say it to me. Hell, I don't think I will. Looks to me like you want trouble and I don't. Well, now you come this far, it wouldn't be neighborly. I'd let you go away without you spoke your piece, would it? Hell, I'll be back when I can talk to the right person. Well, don't be in a hurry, neighbor. Maybe I can help you. You come here looking for the man that shot your brother, ain't that right? Well, you found him, I shot him. Now you'd like to shoot me, huh? You shot my brother, Jeb. Ain't you got a shooting coming to you? Your brother, Jeb, tried to shoot me in the back. He missed, and I warned him not to try it again. He did, and I had to kill him. There was nothing else I could have done. Yeah, I figured it was you. I felt it in my bones. I'm gonna get on my horse, and I'm gonna ride out of here. And like I said, I don't want any trouble. Don't try it. You raise that gun, I'm gonna have to kill you. Twas a trick. Twas a trick after all. A trick so you could sneak in and kill Doty. You a fast gun, a killer. I didn't come here to kill him. But he was bound to kill me. I warned him, but he had to try it. All right, now I'm warning all of you. I'm going out of here now. I don't want anybody to make a move. I'll come after you, never fear. You can't go far enough away. You'll die for this, and your pappy will die for the trick he played me. What kind of men are you? That man killed your brother, and yonder he goes riding free. What are you standing there staring for? Have you water in your veins? Have you rope for spines? Take your rifles now and go, do you hear? I want him dead and his father dead. Go now. Go now, do you hear? What do you mean by that? We're done with killing. Done with killing? Doty was bound to murder that boy, Ma. He'd have shot him in the back if need be. The boy could have done no less than what he'd done and live. You cards. You sniveling. <laughs> that man killed your brother Doty. He killed your brother Jeb. He murdered them. <laughs> Don't that mean nothing to you? What? Neither murder Graham. They's right. Pa tried to shoot him in the back. He tried twice. It's like John's telling you. We killed enough. I want that boy dead. I want him dead now. I never would have known you. That's how much you changed, Willa. Only thing is, I, I keep thinking you changed toward me. I've been living for the day that we we catch up to you and we could be married like was promised. Now I'm afraid.
There never was another man for me, Bert. And there never will be, not as long as we live. I told Graham Hogue that I didn't think we'd ever live long enough to get married. I guess I got no reason to change that now. We done all we could, you and me and John and Paul. We talked ourselves clear time. Maybe she heard us. Maybe not. But if she says we gotta fight them, we got to. We got to do what she says. You know that. Make yourselves ready. We're going now. We're going to see the man that killed my sons. Dodie won't be giving himself up sundown tomorrow. Yes, I know. Boy there killed him. I know. Killed Jeb, killed Dodie the same way. He's real fast with a gun. My son doesn't enjoy killing. He had no choice. Two of my sons killed the same way by the same man. Willis saw the first killing. John and Paul II, the they say it was done the same way. It ain't easy seeing two sons killed. Willow says her pa was gonna shoot you in the back. John and Paul say Dodie tried to do the same thing. I believe them. They never lied to me. I believe you've done what any man would have done. You had to kill him. Reckon I can't hold no anger again you. Willis says you and you got all kinds of fixings in your house. Mind if I step in to see? is your house. You're welcome at all times. 